Namaste guys, Ashish here from Namaste Tech and this is on a P9 which has been recently updated to Android 7.0. P9 runs on MUI and the latest version is 5.0 and there are many features that have been introduced and are new. So if you are using P9 from a long time, it's time to refresh with the tips and tricks. The first thing after the update you will notice is everything looks pretty amazing. The icons are sharp, the color things are better and the notification drawer is much more sensible now compared to the two style or the left and right swipe which was in the previous version. You also get to see more icons. It's much better because of the resolution itself. Now, Honor devices have always been without an app drawer since I have been using them. And in this update, we have got a home drawer for us. So what you need to do is go to settings, look for home screen style, and you have got a standard and a drawer mode. Now in previous version, it has got standard and there was a big icon style, which was useful for people who need only standard icons and nothing else. Now you have got home drawer for yourself. So you can select this, go back and do a refresh of your screen, of course. And here you get your home drawer as well. It's pretty long, but the easiest way to search for anything is just swipe down. Now you should notice that you cannot do a search by swiping a little down here compared with previous and for example if I go back select home screen style as standard and if I swipe a little it draws up this search bar for me which is more convenient so you will have to choose between a drawer style and a search style now this is much more convenient because I can search for almost anything right from here I don't have to open a particular application or an email account. I can just type in here and searches everything around on the phone. That's a pretty good advantage. Now, second thing that has changed is with notifications. So if you go to notifications and status bar, you have got now pulse notification light, which was not there in the previous version. You also have the option to turn on the screen now whenever a new notification appears. So if you are sitting and you want to get attention from your phone, it just blinks up, but also it attracts the other one. So make sure to turn it on with the privacy thing in mind. The last one here is the notification method. Now, if you don't want people to see the icons and all those things, you can always go and turn it off or you can only show numbers whatever with the style you can have a little bit of privacy and a little bit of your style next we have got smart lock and password what is new here is the smart unlock now if you want your phone to automatically unlock when it connects to a bluetooth device you can do that so for example if you go to screen lock and password and select smart unlock It gives you an option to connect to a Bluetooth device or select a Bluetooth device through which it can unlock. So for example, I have connected with my Bluetooth speakers here. So every time I move into the office, the phone remains unlocked. I move out, it gets locked automatically. I don't have to unlock it, use my fingerprint sensor all the time. It's more convenient. Next in the list is AppTwin. It's same as Duplicate app, which is on Redmi series. Uh, used by parallels is the same fundamental but as now a part of the OS however what I see is it allows only to duplicate limited number of apps this is what I see now you have only option to duplicate whatsapp and Facebook now I haven't used any other app or checked with it but it's still limited for example parallel space let me duplicate a lot more apps but here Aptwin is duplicating whatsapp and Facebook only now, if that is your primary app that you want to duplicate, you don't have to install any third-party app and it works out of the box. EMUI 4 has a battery manager, same comes in EMUI 5, but it has got some new features for this. Of course, the screen, the UI looks much, much better and much cleaner instead of having the old style. What is new here is two options here. 
one that allows you to close apps after screen lock so you can configure this just turn on all the apps which are running in the background and turn it off as soon as you lock your screen you can always choose to close all the apps or only power intensive app which is already listed here depends on how you want to use it but it's a good option that when you lock your screen all the apps are closed the second option is power saving from screen now it, what it does it does go a lower resolution power saving mode and the overall resolution of the phone will go down it means it will consume less power especially useful when you are low on battery and another option which has been enabled so guys that was all about p9 tips and tricks with the MUI 5.0 and Android 7.0 now i have not mentioned all the tricks obviously because we have done a previous video and they are all the same the options might have gone here and there but they are still there have a look at these videos which we have mentioned one is the p9 tips and tricks which we did with the MUI 4.0 and Android 6.0 and do click on the button which you see at the center that's a subscribe button for our channel I come with more videos and you can get the notification right away.